Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, I'm going to be taking on the Cave to the Felt. I'm just going to be walking through it to the save point at the end, which is conveniently located in a useful spot. And hoping not to run into any Ryos along the way. One, two. I'm assuming Ryos is the plural form of Ryos. I mean, it could be Ryosis, but that doesn't sound right. And Ryai just sounds silly. One, two. In fact, that sounds even worse. So let's hope this isn't another one. This is my second attempt at this. They're a rare encounter in this cave, and the odds are in my favor to make it through. I just can't get unlucky. Pretty sure it's one out of sixteen chance that these guys will show up, which is uh, it's I, I don't really know the uh, chances of encountering a ninja in any particular encounter on the floating continent because of the weird way that the uh, encounter mechanics work there. But one up, oh, one right. But I'm pretty sure the chances of me encountering ninjas on any particular battle on the floating continent was higher. And I also know for sure that the floating continent was longer than this dungeon. I will be hitting less encounters here for sure. So, one up, one right to line myself with the edge of the uh, ground here. Walk up, but I still hit something on the way up, so I've got to walk around that. And then I can get to the chest easy enough after these messages. Thankfully, the messages did not prove fatal this time around. So... Alright, Rage Ring. So... I don't... I'm not lined up with the door yet, but I just need to run to that wall and then I can easily find the door. Walk all the way to the top, and then I have to go around the bend. That one swimmingly. Continue going up. Left and down will allow me to descend the staircase. I don't have to go very far here. It's weird because the uh, visual image in my head feels a lot larger than it. I'm almost certain it is. Up a little bit. Up and left a little bit. Just gotta get into the uh, hidden slot back here. Or at least not really the hidden, not really well hidden, <laughs> but I can't see at any rate. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to see, period, but you can't see, I guess. That's a minus, I suppose. All the way to the right. One, two. But even for the mental image in my head, I can't see, which is kind of weird to think about, but it's sort of like a dream, I guess, where... One of those dreams where you just can't keep your eyes open or something like that. Hopefully that's not the person who I'm trying to throw the phoenix down with. Not sure what happened with my cursor there, but it doesn't really matter, because... Goodbye, aloe vera. Why did I mini trick there? It's just like a normal battle. Well, I acquired the tiger fangs. That'll be a slight boost to Savin's offense with his phantom rush. Not really a huge difference, but it'll do something for the like two or three battles where I actually need to use that attack. So go all the way right, go all the way up, not very far there. Now this is around the area where I died last time. Two Arios. One, two, three. All the way down. I got a battle and died going downwards here. It appears that this time I either messed up my navigation, or preferably actually did everything and made it a little bit farther. Now, the trickiest thing sometimes is to remember room transitions because the room it's the rooms themselves can easily play out as a large map in your head, but the room transitions sometimes it's easy to skip ahead a room.
Well, I've officially made it farther than last time, in terms of number of battles as well. Hopefully the streak continues. When practicing, I actually made sure to get a decent save state, where I knew I would not get a single Ryos here at the dungeon, but I don't have that luxury here. So I've just got to go for it and hope for the best, because obviously dropping a save state so I know every encounter that's coming would be uber cheating. Right and down. Especially because then the encounters would tell me exactly where I am. That would be just horrible. It would ruin the whole point. Just writing down until I get to the, uh... I end up getting stuck here. Thankfully, some of these areas look like they're really craggy, but you just have to go a long direction in one... A long distance in one direction, you just make it through very nicely. So hopefully I've made it, because if I have, and I haven't made any mistakes, I'll get a door noise when I go left and down. Left. Oh, well, I can get a battle sound too. These battles are almost, it's almost like they're designed to troll me just by, uh, coming just before I'm supposed to get an indicator for I am. Yep, there's the door noise. Now, this room, the navigation through this room is actually kind of strange. First, I need to go right and up. And I'll hit the switch on the way down because it's easier than hitting it on the way up. There. Puzzle solved. Wow, this puts any Legend of Zelda game to shame. Now I go all the way down here and I will be able to find a striker. There we go. That'll be important, obviously. And now, often I try to walk back out the same way I come in, but in this case, I'm actually going to be walking back out a different way from the way I came in, because it's actually a lot easier. Because I just need to start here and then go up and left a whole bunch until I reach the top left corner. Otherwise, I enter that slot where the switch is, and then I have to back out, and it's three or four extra steps to do that. And I don't mean walking steps, I mean planning steps. Which I generally value a little bit more, because reducing that, the number of planning steps as many t as I can reduces the chances of me making a mistake. A lot more than reducing the number of steps does, although in this dungeon there is definitely a trade-off because the Ryos encounters are so deadly. One step to the right, up and left. So this doesn't work out super nicely for me. Because I end up going back into a slot back here, but... If I went up and right there, I'd slip in under the boulders that the switch moved, so... Unfortunately, that's not a great way of go going the right direction there. Right, down, all the way right into the cave. Oh, I mean, I'm already in the cave, but... Into that gap that looks like the entrance to a cave. I guess it's an overpass. I'll get an indicator of where I am really soon, but I feel like that battle was indicator enough that I'm going the right direction. The area down there is pretty crammed, so if I wasn't going the right direction, I would have hit something, almost certainly. There's my door. And now here's the one thing I messed up in my uh, preliminary test run before this. One step to the right. Don't forget that, because that's kind of important. Hopefully there will only be one more battle until the save point. If I have more average luck, though, it'll be two, probably. Right and up from here. So far, so good, it seems. I might be looking at uh, one encounter. Or, obviously, I could just be looking at a mistake, but I don't think that happened in that short amount of time since the door. One step to the left, like that, all the way up, 
Unfortunately, there's no random door here, but... I need to wait a little bit here because there's a screen transition, quite a bit of walking. Unfortunately, there's still battles in the safe point room, I'm pretty sure. So... All the way to the right. At least I think there is. I don't... I, I don't think I encountered any of my test room, but I'm almost certain that I've encountered save point battles here in the past. Down, right, and now I'm lined up with this staircase, so I need to go down. Okay, now I am starting to get a little bit worried that I made a mistake of some kind. Brighten up for a while. Okay. Please don't be a Rios. Good. Okay. Now, unless I start having really bad luck, I should make it to the save point. Well, assuming I didn't mess up, but... Hopefully I controlled for that, at any rate. Probably made it to the top right corner of the uh, screen here. Nice. Made it through. Fairly standard, but it, it was easy for the game to throw a wrench into things there. So, uh, well, I guess I might as well save it at any rate. See you next time.